Hey, I'm Adam Sarton. I'm here at Christmas at the Park, and thanks for taking a road trip with us. So I actually uh, went to uh, Batesville. We drove the you know hour over there, um, had a blast, went through the lights. Uh, my family has done Christmas lights professionally for a number of years before, and the girls were like, hey, Dad, we should go back. And I was like, we should have this here in Jonesboro. Uh, didn't think it would be this involved, uh, but here we are. This is our fifth season and uh, looking forward to having it. So obviously there's a lot that comes up to it when we start right there at the end of October, beginning of November. Um, we spend over a thousand man hours to put it up. Uh, so it, it, it's quite a bit. So what people can expect when they visit is if they've been before, we're gonna have all the old goodies that they've had in previous years. Um, but then for this year, a few of the new highlights will be, we've got an inflatable Grinch. It's pretty large at the front. You can see it from the highway. We have an inflatable Santa at the exit. I would say since inception in 2019, this year we'll have added uh, the most new pieces um, of any year. So outside of the lights, we want people to enjoy the drive. Um, obviously that's really fun with your you know, family, but we wanted Christmas at the park to be a community type um, attraction. And so we want people to get out of the car and come experience what we have here where we are. So meet Santa Claus, uh, come take a picture, get engaged. That's probably a very popular thing. We've already had two people reach out this year. Um, for that. Most fun is when you see somebody here in this area and they've walked around for 45 minutes and, and you ask them, you know, hey, you know, how's it going? They're like, well, we just want to make sure we didn't miss anything. I am shocked at the number of people who drive through and I'll say, hey, did you see? And they say, no, I missed that. And so there's just so much going on, uh, particularly last year, Bumble, uh, he's a 30-foot Yeti. Uh, he's in our snowflake forest and you'd think you can't miss him, but you'd be shocked the number of people who missed Bumble when they drove through. I think my favorite part is just being a part of it and standing in the background and seeing the families interact with each other. Um, here to my left is a uh, ornament piece and you see those families come together and they're smiling and they're just hanging out. Um, it really is uh, great uh, this holiday season to make people smile. So how can you find out more about Christmas at the Park? Obviously go to our website christmasattheparknea.com. Um, go to Facebook, check us out there. We try to keep you updated, especially if you have any park closures. We're open 5.30 every single night through the 23rd. And then on the weekdays, we close at 8.30, gate close at 8.30 and 9.30 on the weekends. And uh, we're looking forward to seeing you and your family.